I'm going to have two 8-track players. Um, one of them is a Lear, which is um, the, uh, the original model created by uh, the guy who created the Learjet, the inventor who made the Learjet, who made 8-track technology in order that pilots could fly planes without needing hands to play music. The Iowa TPM-130 is the best dictaphone ever made by human hands. <laughs> And it's the best ever dictaphone because it does things that you don't expect it to. It does things that are, uh, you can come it, <laughs> it does unusual, unexpected things. I usually don't use pedals. Tonight I will use a pedal because Kenny's going to have ten pedals, so I'm going to have one. <laughs> it's going to be like a pissing competition. <laughs> he said that he got his ideas from aliens, and they told him how to create this way of listening to music that is actually. It's an infinite loop. Inside the tape, tape cartridge is one in huge loop. I've um, played keyboard, play lots of different things, but I learned to play accordion. Um, I just do little, do everything really. I used a tape recorder, Yuha, um, quarter inch tape, reel to reel player. Um, just fed through like effects usually or nothing at all. And is he? Yeah, I have like um, a keyboard, like cassette tapes. Um, for, and I do vocals and stuff. Um, yeah. Is that it? Yeah, I, I think that's all I use. Like loop pedals and stuff like that. They'll be here on the floor, here attached to the instruments, and then I will be cutting here as well. So there'll be a lot here. The clipping and the haircut is all part of the overall sound from for the haircut that. I feel in terms of what I play, I I would like the flute sounds to be more percussive than previous things I played in before. So that's that's what I feel I bring to it. One day I was at a yard sale and somebody had this box of A tracks and a player and I looked at this one Led Zeppelin A track and it was I think 25 cents or something like that and I thought who's going to buy that? Nobody listens to that stuff anymore. And I like the way it looks, I bought it just as an object and then the woman said oh I'll sell you the, the player and this whole box of tapes for like five bucks and I was like oh okay. So, And all the music is from that period in the 70s which also makes it kind of charming in a certain way. These circuits, it's got Oh, yeah. This circuit's got uh, just light-dependent resistors, which reacts to light. This circuit uh, is uh, controlling the light, and the light is controlling the sound as well, because it's got small light sensor in here. Um, this time I tried to make a conjunction with a film image, uh, and also digital image on the same screen. and create a, a 3D illusion. This effect is happen in the sound also. If we play monorail music with a little bit skip uh, one or two or three frame, uh, the sound uh, is like a surround sound. I talk shit when I, and I play like I'm talking shit now. I, I'm always improvising, you're always improvising. You know, what the fuck are you going to get hit with, you know? You have to go with it and you can't change it whether you like it or not, really. <laughs> exactly, yeah, Chal definitely. Yeah, like you're, you're put on the spot. It's definitely. like, it's always challenging. And, I mean, it's important to get out of your comfort zone, you know? Like, mm, and I think do, it's good I when don't... you, if you play with, um, <coughs> in situations where you're not that comfortable as well and you don't, you know, you don't know the audience or, or something. It's like Funkadelic. For me, the touchstone is always Funkadelic. Yeah. It's like the same album over and over and over and over and over same, again, same. just with these very slight differences. And mm. for me, it doesn't matter to me that, the, that every album I make is the fucking same. Oh, yeah. And whether I'm improvising with voice or improvising with dictaphone, improvising on drums, improvising on anything, composing electronically, whatever I do, it all sounds the fucking same anyway. It's always amazing to play with people where there's like um, you're playing off each other and stuff, it's like playing solo is always a bit of a, uh, um, it's like a, it's, I don't know, it's good, it's good in the year of like complete control, but it's actually like that's kind of dissatisfying as well and it's cool to actually sort of 
it's like you find something or you get a sense of something. In fact, you have that like Coltrane, for instance. Yeah. Even though Coltrane over his career, you hear him change style or whatever. It's only because he is sensing something that he knows is there. That's, yeah. It's, it's the absolute or whatever, and it's that kind of thing. It's like so. It's it's a pursuit of that. It takes so him 15 way. albums to get there, but nobody yeah. ever says to Coltrane, "Why are you doing 15 albums all the same <laughs> on Riverside?" In terms of, we, we'll have some vague kind of skeleton that is together before we play, but I would say, yeah, on, we kind of fill in the skeleton <laughs> in different ways each time we play. It feels different to me anyway. Yeah. And you say something in a Welsh accent and then suddenly the gig started. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, I'm probably a bit more... I'm probably a bit more uptight about it. I'm probably a bit more bourgeois. I mean, there's like, I want it to go in different directions and stuff, but there's, there's kind of like this, some sort of criteria behind what I think would be good or bad. Or... It's a, a matter of a, of a journey, and there are different milestones along the way. People can listen to them or they can not listen to them. Yeah. But... I do like, um, I like things going wrong, and I like, I like things being bad as well. <laughs> you specialise in them going wrong. It's, it's, yeah. my, it's my strength. It's a talent. <laughs> You have to have a very wide vocabulary of what the sounds you can do. No, just I'm just listening what's happening on the stage sonically, what the amp is doing, what the if I'm playing with other musicians, what they're doing, uh, what the instrument's doing. The instrument has its own, you know, thing. I the instrument plays me. I don't play the instrument. I just try to get the instrument. I try to get sound out of the instrument, and I, and and wherever it starts. Uh, Things are happening inter interesting on the parts of the instrument is where I actually just sit on and move it around. Because it's like anything else. If you're out in a, in a storm, you know you're gonna you're gonna you're not gonna control the storm. You're gonna you know it's gonna you're gonna kind of kind of control you. It's gonna let you know where to go. So the same thing. It's like a storm up there. Sound. It's a storm. So you got to try to you know it's controlling you. You just got to try to survive it and trying to find the best way out or the best way through it.